Washington's apple orchards, mostly dormant in the winter, but inside this basement lab, the next generation of apples is taking root. Washington State University scientists slice, taste, and test the firmness and crispness of dozens of apples, including a new variety dubbed Cosmic Crisp. Cosmic Crisp is, is really the first big release that, uh, that Washington, the Washington industry is going to have all to itself. After 20 years in the making, Cosmic Crisp will only be available to Washington farmers to plant for at least one decade. The state already grows 60% of the nation's apples. We used to grow all red delicious and golden delicious. We're really taking what used to be a big macro market and, and cutting it into smaller and smaller pieces with these new varietal apples. Many growers are now diversifying their orchards with several licensed premium varieties which command a higher price tag. Cosmic Crisp will join Kiku, Ambrosia, Jazz, Brayburn, Pacific Rose, and other trademark varieties trying to take a bigger slice of the consumer market, which already includes the well-established Fuji and Gala. Many of these varieties were developed through breeding programs in New Zealand, Canada, Japan, and Europe. When you're very successful, you're a little reluctant to, you know, throw out what you're doing and, and adopt something new that could be uh, risky. So, you know, we, we were late to start the, the breeding program. But the partnership between farmers and universities is paying off. The University of Minnesota developed the bestseller Honeycrisp. Cornell University is hoping for similar success with Snapdragon and Ruby Frost. The staple varieties, however, are still money makers and make up the biggest chunk of the apples exported. They're kind of the workhorse of the industry. And I think what uh, growers are realizing is they've got to have a combination. They've got to have a mix of the main varieties and then a mix of these club varieties. Meanwhile, the first Cosmic Crisp trees are scheduled to be planted next year with the first sales in 2019. But researchers are already nibbling away, searching for the next blockbuster. Christophe Fourier, Associated Press.